Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Fetch AI. Yeah, FET currently in a pullback, a possible consolidation here. Uh, we have seen, obviously, this is an analysis, you know, very much on the micro level here. We're dealing with a uh, an ABC structure here to the upside, obviously, right? And we have an initial rally in wave A, then we had our B wave pullback into the Friday low of the 6th of September. This is only a three wave rally. So we had a three wave pullback um, as well. So we call it an AB structure and with a possible C wave unfolding right now. That's not surprising given that this entire fifth wave is likely an, um, an ABC structure because the entire move, if I go to the daily chart, is a, um, well, is a diagonal okay so this move at least from the b wave low in november 22 so talking about long-term targets i mean i've got for this fifth wave 485 622 and maybe 871 as sort of next major projections to the upside i don't i don't necessarily expect much higher in this bull market i mean 871 would already be a stretch um, and then we have to just look at where we are when we get there you know what the microstructure says but for now I'd be happy with 622, to be honest, um, maybe only 485. So it's just something to prepare for. Okay, so looking at the microstructure here, then the market, obviously, after giving us that five wave move, it started the pullback that was expected, talked about it yesterday. And then yesterday throughout the day, I highlighted to our members on Discord that a B wave bounce might be starting. I think we caught the low there pretty pretty well um it was one of the updates yesterday posted around 4 p.m the price could start wave b of two in this area and i, th I think it really pretty much caught the low because we saw some upside momentum we, i saw some indicators turning to the upside not necessarily on the fet chart but i saw um, that fet had reached pretty much a space from where a b wave can start and then i saw some indicators on some well some of the key indicators I'm tracking generally across the crypto sector, they were turning to the upside. So indicating, okay, we might get a bit of B wave bounce. That's nothing major, but it was a nice intraday trade for some who might have taken it. I know some have taken it. So the comments and then from there, um, a C wave down could happen in wave two. So we're now pretty much there. Um, but the B wave might extend, however, uh, before we go back to the live chart today, we're running a today we're running a um, risk management, uh, the second second session of our risk management masterclass for our silver and gold members first session was kicked off last saturday you can watch the recording if you're interested um, you can join our silver and gold memberships you get access and then this is a five session event with one hour per saturday 4 p.m utc with a question answer session um, this is in addition to our normal live streams that we do anyway tomorrow in our live stream i think we're going to talk about how to catch an uptrend and so on. So there are there is a lot of education that's offered as well if you're interested. And let's talk about the structure here. I mean, I have run out of wave degrees, but what I'm I'm thinking is, so first of all, I'm going to add the resistance area for the B wave, but this is only standard resistance. So I'm, I'm inclined to add the 88.7 FIB level here as well, because we've already, just to show you the next upside levels, I'm not telling you the B wave will necessarily go higher. You you all know that B waves are pretty much chameleon like structures and it's defined between 139 to 143 that resistance area and, and the B wave might extend a little bit higher absolutely before then wave C to the downside starts. So we have an A, B, C structure. I think this is something to, to pay attention to. Um, yeah, A, B, C, and then this B wave, as I said, it, it might stretch a little bit higher, for example, as an A, B, C structure. But I cannot rule out that wave B is already complete. So I might mark it complete, um, but I see the potential, especially from here, to push a little bit higher, just a little bit higher. So if that happens, this is sort of micro support, a very weak micro support, and it is micro support for an extended B wave. Okay, um, it's just that obviously I've run out of wave degrees, but I might actually, let's let's lift the wave degrees because then we can add some microstructures here. 
thing is when you've arrived at the smallest microstructures you can pretty much tell that the market will morph you know the, the structures will morph and change so I'm I'm looking at it I'm looking at this potential I mean this is not a great setup right but this is something that cryptos like to do if we break however below 132 yeah and sustain there it would be a good indication that we're actually in wave c to the downside already possibly targeting $1.26 to $1.21 next that's the update about fet hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye